All right, so you get Final Cut Pro and you're ready to edit more or faster without crashes like some other software <coughs> Premiere Pro. But how do we organize our footage? We have libraries, events, projects, keywords, roles, etc. The whole thing can be a little bit overwhelming. Well, stick around until the end of this video and you will be an organization pro. And today is a Thursday, which means it's a three minute Thursday. So we're going to try and break this down all in three minutes. Let's get into it. So let's explain the structure and then we can go through some organization scenarios here. So three minutes on the clock starting right now. I'm gonna throw this graphic up on the screen from the actual Final Cut Pro website and it shows you how they think about the structure here in this particular graphic. But we can see we have libraries, events, projects. Now the first main thing and the first level of organization that you have in Final Cut Pro is going to be your libraries. Everything that we talk about from here on out is going to live within a library. That's going to include your events, your projects, any of your clips in media, everything lives in a library. Now you can have multiple libraries and multiple libraries open at one time. You can also have your libraries on different hard drives. But for right now, just know that libraries are the first level of organization there that you have that everything else will live in a library in Final Cut Pro. Next level down from your library is going to be events. Now your events are going to hold all of your actual media, all your video clips, all your audio, your music, pictures, graphics, everything else is going to live in an event. And again, an event is very similar to a folder and you can have multiple events within a library there depending on how it is that you are organizing your footage. Now when you first import media into Final Cut Pro it will default to naming your event whatever the actual date from the footage is but you can go back in there and rename each event i.e as your folder so you can organize footage from whatever it is that your shoot is. Also aside from media projects will also live inside your events, which is the perfect segues. So your project is going to be what gives you the timeline and where you're going to do the actual editing for your video. When you first open a project there, you can select your frame rate, your aspect ratio, your audio settings, all of that there for your actual edit. And this is where your final project will come from and this is what you export from is from your actual project. Now, as mentioned, your project will live inside events. However, even though your project might be in a particular event folder, you could choose clips and media from different events into that one project to build your video file there. Now, those three things are the main organization, but I want to touch on a few more things here, like keywords. Keywords is another cool organization tool that you can use in Final Cut Pro. The way I normally use it is within an event. So if I'm looking for uh, making it up a bride or a groom or a particular subject there, I can go through and always know that I can record those clips if I'm making a highlight reel of something, or depending on what the edit is there. And then roles are another level of organization there where you can organize how things appear in your timeline, i.e. your project. That could get re really grand and it's probably for another video here since we're trying to keep some order of time here. All right, now that you understand that we have libraries, events, and then we have projects there, there are two main ways to do things like I had mentioned before. So the point of contention is whether it is that you have a library for every single video and product that you do. So I'm doing this video right here, right now. It is called Organization for Final Cut Pro. And I would create one library for that, shoot my footage and put everything in there. And then when I'm done with it, that library is go somewhere else or something else. Or what some people do is they create one library and then they create multiple different events for the actual video that they're going to do. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do it. It kind of just depends on the situation and how much footage you need to organize. For example, Marcus Brownlee, MKBHD there, he does it by year. So he'll have one library with the year and then he'll have multiple different events for each video that he's doing. That's how I kind of do it as well. I have one library that has all my YouTube videos in it and then I have all those videos broken down by events. And the reason that that works in this particular situation is because we just have an A roll like I'm speaking here and then we might have some kind of B roll 
and some graphics or whatever. It's just not a lot going on because it's one single B-roll track, an audio track, some music or whatever. All of that can really fit in one event and I don't need to be too granular. However, I'll show you where this becomes um, a little bit different when you need a little bit more organization. I have a travel video that is going to have multiple different edits. So this is broken down into all the different locations and you can see I have a ton of different events within this one big folder and then I'll probably have multiple different projects within those events. So hopefully that all makes sense to you. If it is that you like this video, we do have a ton of other videos here on the channel regarding Final Cut Pro on a few more channels. I'll put one here and I'll put one here. Watch one of those, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Big up yourself. Peace.